In the years YouTube has been around, there have been many genres of content that popped up. Whether it be comedic skits, let's plays, animation, or makeup tutorials, each category has left a lasting impact on how this video sharing site works. Today, however, I don't want to discuss any of these content types, but rather an often forgotten class of YouTubers. So who are these people and why am I talking about them today? Well, it's mainly due to the fact that I believe they're the most important group of people in YouTube history, who single-handedly forced Google to change how this site functions. And they are Reply Girls. So what exactly is a Reply Girl, why are they so important to YouTube history, and why don't we hear about them anymore? Well, I plan on answering all those questions for you today. In July of 2011, a Canadian woman named Alejandra started up the original Reply Girl channel where she'd sit in front of her camera making video responses to popular content. Unlike other channels that did the same, she'd make videos fast with very little substance and no redeemable value. But even with all that being said, she still was a huge hit. The reason for this is that she found a loophole in the algorithm. So how exactly did she abuse the system? Well, the format was pretty simple. Step 1. Find a popular video. Step 2. Make a lazy response while wearing a revealing shirt or blouse. Step 3. Upload it copying the original video title and tags. Step 4. Repeat. The scam was in a way ingenious. She would find a video trending, make a response wearing revealing clothing so there would be a high click-through rate, and copy the metadata. This allowed for her to do so well in the algorithm that she would end up in the sidebar to the video she was responding to and get a ton of views. Because this format was so successful, other women started following the same exact model because it quite frankly didn't take much talent. Within months, dozens of them created their own little subgenre that eventually started taking over the site. These women found a clear flaw in the YouTube system and started exploiting it for all that it was worth. Unlike other low-quality content that could be ignored, for a brief period of time, Reply Girls were unescapable. You couldn't go about your video-watching experience long before they all started showing up in the sidebar, even though people hated them and each one of their videos had a huge number of dislikes. This whole situation was getting out of hand, leading to many creators finally speaking out against them. What they're doing is they're creating these videos and their reply videos are called the reply girls and they, what they do is they respond to videos and and then they get like you know a little thumbnail and in the thumbnail they show off the breasts you know kind of whatever does their videos and got the arrow pointing at her boobs and stuff like that and it's just like a one minute video i mean dislikes it's just talking just nothing but just to get you know i'll tell you mac because they're flipping everywhere they're literally all over the shop you go to any video and there'll be at least three flipping reply girl things. Even on this video, because it's about reply girls, there will be about five down here to the left of me. You look down at the related videos, there'll probably be some reply girls there. Out of all the people calling them out, the most vocal had been Yogscast, the channel which was at the time one of the biggest on the site. One of its creators, Lewis, wrote about how they must be stopped on a forum post from 2011. I'm sure you're all aware of the plague of reply girls in related videos on big YouTubers that is getting way out of hand. This is extremely frustrating for us and our viewers, as it results in a big loss of views to other smaller channels with related content and irritates the people watching. Some of these are bots, and all these Reply Girls have managed to get partnership and are actively doing this for money, producing hundreds of low-quality mass replies to every big video in order to appear in the related videos. In many cases, it is obvious they haven't even watched the video they are replying to. Lewis goes on to state his solution to the problem. He asks YouTube to start not allowing videos with an overwhelming amount of dislikes to show up in the related bar. He believed this would fix the broken system. This of course was a terrible solution to the problem because it would open up the door to people with unpopular opinions no longer having a place on the website. On top of this, if a group got together and all started mass disliking videos, they could hypothetically silence anyone they wanted. The people over at Google had to think hard about how to fix this flaw in their system without opening up new major exploits. And that is when they made the biggest change up in YouTube history. Audience retention rates. Since people clicked away from Reply Girl videos shortly after the start, YouTube would begin to favor channels that had high watch times and ignore channels that didn't have good engagement stats. On top of this, they stopped allowing people to copy and paste tags all at once, so stealing a list of metadata became more difficult. 
So let's say the YouTube algorithm had two videos it was considering to promote. One had an average watch time of 2 minutes, and the other was only 20 seconds. After the update, the system would now begin to favor the video that people watched for a longer amount of time. With these new updates, the views on Reply Girl related content went down the drain. Without people watching their videos all the way through after clicking on the thumbnail, YouTube simply stopped promoting them in the sidebar. Because of this, none were able to adapt and simply became footnotes of internet history. With that being said, the changes the Reply Girls triggered led to some other unintended consequences. This was a turning point on YouTube when shorter content such as animation and comedy skits started going away because the new algorithm didn't necessarily favor them anymore because of their short nature. While these channels died, on the other hand, a year after the change, we started to watch the rise of the now most subscribed to person, PewDiePie, whose channel in part grew thanks to these changes to how the site functioned. It's crazy to think that if it wasn't for some women in revealing clothing scamming the system for clicks, PewDiePie may have never become a household name. Funny how that happens sometimes. Live in Hawaii. Spend five years and over $100,000 on making a doomsday shelter. Everyone makes fun of you because you're making a doomsday shelter. I will show them one day. Dot mov. Wake up because of a loud noise coming from the phone. Looks at the phone. Ballistic missiles coming straight towards Hawaii. This is it. Drive 10 minutes to the shelter. People begging to get in. You all laughed at me when I said I was making this. Who's laughing now? Enough food and water for over two years. Hell yeah. Dot JPEG. News is going around everywhere. Sees video and mocks taking shelter in a storm drain. Peasants. Gets alert from the phone. False alarm. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny.